how to remove duplicates within the same cell. As we can notice, I have a sales report with many different rows and many different cells. In the first cell, I have the first information with the customer name, the total purchase, the item name, the quantity, and uh, the address. However, if we pay attention to the first two informations within this first cell, the name is being repeated. But I need to get rid of the repetitions. So how can I do it? And this is what we're going to see in today's video to automatically remove those duplicates. We can go also here to a cell underneath. As we can see, there is the same product being repeated over and over again. So I need to get rid of the repetitions. And to do it is not that easy. However, uh, it's very simple. So take a look here. The first formula that I can use to help me in the in a column to the right can be equal sign. Let's first of all split all the texts that we have within the same cell. So let's say John is the first name and then trauma. This is the second information trauma, the third one trauma, the fourth one and so forth. So I want to split those informations and because I have a common point that is the comma, I can use as my criteria. And even though you have many different uh, separators, let's say trauma, semicolon, hyphen, or a pipe sign, it's going to work and they're going to show different examples. So let's first of all start with uh, this first example here. Equal sign and then I can use text split function. Double click, one, two. Basically, this function can separate the text that we have within a range based on a criteria, a separator, a delimiter. So let's start with the text itself, that is the cell to the left. And then comma. My delimiter right here is going to be open quotations and then comma, space, close quotations, close parentheses. The quotation is very important because uh, it indicates to the function that we are input a text. And in the text, I input basically a comma and a space because it's exactly what I have that is being used to separate one word or one text to another. I have call, comma and then space, right? And if I hit enter, as we can notice, now the informations of the first cell are being split in each one of those different columns. But the text split didn't solve my problem, that is to get rid of the repetitive values. So what I can do now is I can double click again, one, two in the in this function, text is split, and immediately after the equal sign before the text is split function, I can use the unique function because the unique returns the unique values from a range. So let's say we have repetitive values. So the unique is going to get rid of the repetitive values and only keep the values that just appears once in the list. Double click, one, two. Okay, the array that I want to use is going to be the text split itself. So immediately after the last parentheses, trauma, and I want to use true because I want to return unique columns because I'm using columns to separate the, the text. One, two, and then close parentheses and hit enter. Okay, now as we can notice, we have a more, we have already a correct result. Let's say the name only is appearing only here in the list instead of two times as we had in the, in the cell to the left. So it's already working. But uh, the results are being separated into different columns. So how can I couple everything together? Now we can use another function that is double click and immediately after the equal sign, we can use text join to join, to couple together, to append everything. Double click, one, two, to concatenate. The delimiter, now maybe we can use again, open quotations, comma, space, close quotations, and comma. Do I want to ignore the empties? Uh, maybe, yeah. So double click, one, two, and then comma. The text that I'm going to use is the function itself, unique, text split, and so forth. Do not forget to go to the last parentheses and then close it again and hit enter. Okay, here we have the information of the first cell without repetitions. And if I click at the bottom right corner of the cell, click, hold, and drag down, as we can see, I done. So this is how we can do it. Let's take another example right here. We have item four many, many times. And if I check in the result, item four only appeared once in the list. And something that is very important, take a look here, John, John, and John. So this name appears three times. However, the first appearance is about the, the name. And the second one, two, is about the name. 
And uh, if we go to the last appearance, it's about the address. So the function is very smart and it's going to get rid of the second name. As you can notice right here, the name only appears once. However, the address is going to keep in the result because the address is different than the name. Okay, so the function is very smart about uh, this subject, let's say. And if I update here any cell, let's input uh, maybe ABC, trauma, one, two, three, trauma, CVV. I don't know, just some random stuff. And then I'm going to hit enter. As you can notice, the result is going to retrieve exactly what I typed in here before because there is no repetition. However, if I continue to create some texts, trauma, one, two, three again, trauma, one, two, three, comma, ABC, trauma, now ABC, everything in lowercase. And if I hit enter, that function is going to get rid of the repetitions very smartly. So this is how we can do it. Let me undo those actions. And yeah, okay. Now, the last thing that I want to show is, let's say now I have a trauma separating the first information to the second one. However, then I have not a comma, but a hyphen or a dash. Let's use here a hyphen. And then instead of having a trauma, I have a pipe sign like this. And then instead of having a comma, I have a asterisk and so forth. So let's say now it's very confusing and uh, the function cannot understand very well what is happening with the cell to the left. As we can notice right here, we have now repetitive values. The symbols such as the hyphen and the asterisk and the pipe sign are appearing in the result. And to get properly the correct result, considering all those new symbols so let's double click one two in the function that we did and uh, let's go here within the text split function in the column delimiter argument and instead of using only the comma let me get rid of and i want to open curly brackets and also close the curly brackets and within those brackets i want to input everything that i have such as and be mindful because we need to use quote and unquote everything. So quote, unquote, quote, unquote. So let's go. Quote. And then the first thing that I have is the comma. Comma, space, uh, unquote, quote, unquote. And then comma to go to the second argument. We also have a hyphen. So comma, space, hyphen, or dash, space, uh, close quotations. Comma. The third symbol that we have is the pipe sign. So let's input here also the pipe sign. Trauma. And the last one is the asterisk. So space, asterisk, space, close quotations. And yeah, that's it. Let me hit enter. Now we can notice that everything is working perfectly. And again, the final result is going to retrieve the values being separated using a comma because this is what we defined it before, uh, just right here, right? But let me bring this formula down now. And yeah, that's it. The result is still the same. However, now I can use, I can have the data with different separators, such as a asterisk, for example. And if I hit enter, it's not going to change anything in my result. So this is how we can remove duplicates within a single cell in Excel automatically. Whenever the data set got updated, the values, the results are going to be updated too. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you have any questions or any suggestions, to the next videos let me know comment down below and i see you tomorrow because every day has a new video